Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. I know it's been quite a bit. I also have a new mic stand now, so the mic is gonna, probably going to sound a little bit closer. And I don't know if you can see me or not because uh, I'm literally recording a mobile game. I do play Raid Shadow Legends. I do find it enjoyable. Um, also, if it's not too much, just like the video, post a comment, and share it. It's not that hard. Because without that, my video is just going to be out in the wild, and it's going to get no attention. But anyways, I mean, I'm already level 60, but um, yeah, I do I do like this game a lot, and um, my my friend actually got like asked and was like, "What's that game you play?" And then me and him just like have night sessions now, and I try to help him out with his account. Um, I'm still learning the game and getting good with it, even though I'm 60 now, but I did beat, like, a couple Doom Towers, um, I'm, like, rank 5 in the arena, so, I mean, I kind of know what I'm doing, <laughs> uh, there's, like, a whole bunch of Black Friday deals right now, but anyways, um, the other day, there was, um, the Blue Shards, and there was a chance to get an extra legendary, and I, I, I got, I got happy because I actually got somebody I wanted. I got Septimus. So Septimus is a monster, <laughs> literally. Um, once he's fully booked, and eventually I'm gonna have to change some of his stuff because his crit damage is still pretty low. But this man can hurt, and clan boss, and arena, all that stuff, and then. The second legendary I got, um, he's not bad. He's a pretty good support. Is Drogbo the Gaunt? I mean, the ability right here goes down to a uh, three-turn cooldown. Not bad. Increased attack, increased defense, and block damage. Block damage is so annoying. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> but the rest of his kit's not bad either. But and then. I got another character that I actually do quite enjoy, Lady Annabelle. She literally just came out in October, and I was like, I got to, a chance to pull her out. So I was like, yeah, that's awesome. I'm definitely booking her. I like her kit. Um, she can kind of smack, especially with the kit I put on her. But yeah, I was kind of surprised. <laughs> Like this move right here, the AOE leech. So that's like she just smacks everybody and then puts like little like droplets, but those droplets you can heal back. They're anybody in your team for two turns. And then also a chance to decrease speed if they have less than 50% turn meter. And then this one is kind of weird, but it kind of works. So if the ally has like, she'll just pick any ally, it doesn't matter if it's lower She'll swap, and then she'll place a revive on death buff on herself, or on that champion, whoever has the lowest. But my favorite part is that. Heals this champion by 50% of their max HP whenever an ally or an enemy dies. That's huge. So. Jesus. There's, <laughs> there's so many offers that are popping up right now. Oh my god, yes, close. Jeez. So I like to test things out here on, on stage 12 3 Brutal. I beat all the campaigns now. That's a For me, that's a big accomplishment. I beat 12-7 on um, Nightmare without a Paragon. So I was really happy about that. That was big flex. So we're going to just uh, put... I'm going to put this guy and Lady Annabelle because these are the two I'm working on right now. I'm, I'm almost done with the Masteries too, but I have to get them to 60 that's that's a whole different beast. At 60, they'll be doing way more. But there's that AoE. Not bad. And then Septimus is just going to do his thing. have like high resist on Septimus so yeah he's definitely gonna get smacked by stuff but yeah not bad and I do have her in tag team 
right now, like, I, I'm trying them out everywhere. They said that she's not, like, suitable for PvP. Like, um, even though I'm, like, rank 5, I have to pick my fights because some people have some, like, sneaky builds here that will wipe you out. Like, um, we could try one. Like, this team, it's, even though it's, like, a, a low power... I want that girl right there. She smacks. But we can try just for funsies, right? So I'm keeping those two there. That's my speed lead, and then that's my uh, defense. So let's try them out. Probably not going to do anything. They still need a lot of work. Yep, speed, decrease defense, and then here comes a nuke eventually. Yeah, that, that little dwarf hits, man. They're pretty much... Yeah, they're dead already. <laughs> I hate this league. It sucks. And, yeah, basically my two big damage dealers are dead. Yeah, 28k. 30k. This is pretty much just gonna end badly. He's not a damage dealer. Oh man, the unkillable from the armor set. That's <laughs> so bad. Uh, 142k. <laughs> My friend knows that I want her really bad. She's a beast. Like, like several of her moves already ignore defense and stuff, which is wild. There's pretty much not that many teams I can go against, so... I'm probably going to get bumped down to four again, and then I'll find, like, single targets, and then I'll go for those. Some of those single targets are OP. Let's see if we can find something that we can do. <laughs> um, doesn't look like much. Alright, so we're going to ignore that. Um, and tag team, like I said, I do have... I do have him on the first team. We'll go against this one. Yep, there they are. They're probably not going to survive, but we'll see. I got faith. Ooh. They got Geomancer in their team. Yeah, Geomancer's that little guy. He has a really good passive and um, he's like one of the top champions. Well, still alive, but it's gonna get grim. There we go. Nice. Extra turn. Did 16k. There you go. Lady Annabelle. Ooh, that guy's kills bad. There we go. Hey, they got to win. And then the rest is just doesn't matter. But yeah, I was surprised that they actually survived. So like um that on Lady Annabelle that the AoE attack, she can she can smack sometimes. I've seen her do like 15k to a whole team. So I'm I don't know how high her crit is. I'll have to check, but she can she can dish out some damage. And I have her at a decent speed right now. She's not like the fastest. My fastest character is my Deacon. He's like at 241 right now. I'm not getting lucky on like artifacts that you know some people like some people get so lucky in this game. Look at like a speed substat that I got three times on that from upgrading, so it's like stupid high. That's a really good epic over there, though. Um, I think my team got it, though. Beautiful. Yeah, they didn't do too bad. Now we're going to try them by themselves. 
<clears throat> so again, I, I use the stage as like a testing ground. So here's Septimus by himself. The only thing that kills him off here is the guy placing the bomb. And then if the bomb detonates. Other than that, he's going to do that. <laughs> His first ability, if he gets a kill, he just keeps on going. Almost kills him, but then here comes... Alright, no bombs. There it is. And nice. So he can he can he can be alright. So now we're gonna try Lady Annabelle. I think she can survive in her own. She has no aura or anything. It's a good way to see if like your kit can at least do something. There's that AoE leech. Remember, every time she kills, she gets 50% of health back. That's huge. Huge. She has... I, I, I like her kid. It's very unique. And there it is. Right, she's doing alright. It's not as fast as Septimus, but Septimus has like... Um, his abilities are dumb, especially if they're fully booked. They have like a dumb damage multipliers. And there they go. 215k damage. And like this is not an easy stage. Like um I know that I know people that struggle. Like, uh, I had a pretty easy time because on my old account, I really had to try because I picked a pretty decent starter. Um, this time, um, when I got this account, they were doing the ultimate death knight, so he kind of made it a breeze. <laughs> oh my god. But anyways, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you, like, um... Uh, those two new characters that I'm working on and I do enjoy them. I'm trying to make them OP. Um, Septimus, I'm definitely going to figure something out. I just put the lifesteal set on him because I wanted him to have more survivability. Because especially since he hits hard, especially when he's fully booked, he'll be he, he healed by 30% back. So I thought that was a good move, but I need to find a way to get that crit damage up though. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you made it to the end of the video, if you guys can at least uh, spread a little donation, that would be great. I'll put the link down below. And of course, liking the video and commenting and sharing, that's big. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.